And while they were building this park, they discovered the stones because they had often wondered where did John Winthrop build his meeting house? Because John Harvard used to live right down the street there. And uh, well, and of course, John Harvard, we know who he was, right? They named Harvard College. He was a Presbyterian. But uh, yeah, this was actually where the Puritans first attempted to settle. Now, John Winthrop didn't think much of the area. He didn't like the water. And uh, not that the Puritans drank a lot of water coming from Europe, but they used water to make beer. Uh, they did drink a lot of beer. I was amazed to find out that the average Puritan would drink about a gallon of beer a day. And the kids, they would not drink a quart. Yeah. I thought they were interesting people to hang around, you know, it'd be fun. But the Puritans must have been angry drunks because they couldn't stand anybody else but the Puritans. They didn't like the Quakers. People that are all about peace and love. But no, they wanted to persecute the Quakers. And over here to the right, that's a Charles River Dam. That was built in the 80s. And of course, we need to control the flow of the Charles River today because of the back bay, all the real estate back there in the Wooden Islands. And of course, you see all these boats going through the locks. You can see them there. That's the Colonel Richard Ridley Locks. Now, what they're doing is they're going up the Charles River and they're preparing themselves for one of the greatest fireworks displays ever at Fourth of July celebration here in Boston. Over here to the right is the TD Garden. That's a sports arena. And uh, let me tell you something. It's not pronounced garden here. It's God. God. You practice that, and I'll teach you how to speak like you're from Boston. All right, here you go. Now, if it ends in an R, you put an A to it. Car becomes cat. Car becomes fat. R becomes back. Well, what happens if it ends in an A, Pete? What do I do then? You put an R to it. You get the idea? Pizza? It's a good idea to get the guy. We'll get a pizza. Okay, I'm going to drink a Cuba. Cooper? Yeah. I had a real tough time of it when I first came up here. I'm originally from North Carolina. My wife was from up here. She looked at me about 20 years ago and said, Go get the khakis. I came back with a pair of pants that had been hanging on the bedroom door for a couple of days. I was trying to get the car started. <laughs> Haven't spoken to each other since. I think we're wonderful marriage, so I'll tell you that. that. Lasted for over 27 years. Wow. Yeah, if you don't talk to each other, you can't get in an argument. Wow. Yeah. something you lose your head I'm not stopping to pick it up <laughs> so here it is the sports arena known as the TD guy and yeah, replace the old Boston guy and of course it's home to the Boston Bruins and they're a wonderful hockey team pretty good and yeah. also home to the Celtics we're not quite sure what they play Here it is, beautiful scene, stop five, right here. Do you want to get out? No? I'll get out. Not interested in this. Now the old Boston Garden used to be right here where this parking lot is. Yeah, it wasn't very big. It was built at around the same time as Madison Square Gardens, and they were all built at the same time to promote boxing in the early part of the 20th century. Boxing was a sport here in the United States for a long time. Sweet science. And then over there to the right, now that's a statue of Bobby Orr, going back in 1970 when he was playing against the St. Louis Blues. And he scored a winning goal. And of course, the name of the statue, goal. And then over here to the right, this building that has more balls than a Christmas tree, is a, well, it's a federal building. Yep. Federal government owns that. And of course it would be named after a federal man, a congressman. Speaker of the House of Representatives. And let me see, this is named for Thomas P. O'Neill, right, Jr. Tip O'Neill. Do you remember that? Oh, sure. Yeah. That's written right there. Remember Tip? He was the Speaker of the House of Representatives during the Reagan administration. Yeah. You guys look too young to you. No, I know who Reagan is. Tip and Ronald Reagan were actually uh, the good friends. Well, they actually got things done, even though they were political opposites, I'll tell you this. But it could have been because Reagan and O'Neill were both Irish. And uh, Neil would show up at the back door of the White House on occasions. 
bottle of Irish whiskey and they go in and get out of it. They can have a couple of drinks, take a nap, and the deal would run the government for it for a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. Snap. Easy. Yeah. But Ronnie, he slept through a lot of things. The yeah, Iran Contra thing, he was asleep through that. Yeah. Ali, Ali who? <laughs> this is the old West End neighborhood. It's all gone now. <laughs> they consolidated and put it on one big apartment. You know who was from here? Leonard Demoy. Born and raised right here in the yeah. yeah. Have any of you ever been in an intersection designed by a complete idiot? <laughs> yeah, You're about to go into one. Yeah. No, no, I don't think so. This is it. You'll see what I'm talking about. See how the lines have drawn here? I do that. What you have to do is disregard all the traffic lines. Architecture. The type of architecture is known as brutalism. Yeah, it's brutal to the human eye. And look at that stairway to nowhere. Who came up with that? Yeah. And what did they, well, who paid for it? The taxpayer. And what did they put here? The Department of Unemployment Assistance. And uh, well, after dealing with those guys, you're about to go crazy. So they put a mental health center here. But that stairway to night, uh, that'll drive you crazy too. I mean, it doesn't go anywhere. It's just a stairway. But it was used in a movie called *The Departed with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and yeah, I see that. Uh, Jack Nicholson. I, I go see him anywhere. He's great. I like him. But that was a state police barracks. I kind of like this building. This is uh, refreshing here. This is the Edward W. Brooke Courthouse. Of course, it's named for Edward W. Brooke. Now, give me the answers to these questions. Real simple. Over there to the right, see all the satellite dishes and antennas? Remember this guy, Edward Snow, he divulged a lot of information. We just recently found out that was an NSA substation. They can't, re they can't listen to everything you say from Washington, D.C., so we have these substations scattered around the country so we can intercept your microwave transmissions, satellite transmissions, all of that stuff. So be careful on your phone, because they know what you're doing next year. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? I like it, I made it up. That's actually television. But it's a lot more intriguing. I think it's an NSA substation, don't you think? Yeah, more exciting. If you want to talk about spies, we've got to go over to Cambridge. They actually captured Russian spies over there about five years ago. Yeah, they're over there stealing national secrets pertaining to missile guidance systems. Yeah, how are we getting this? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you know how they were getting the secrets? They're one of the cocktail parties with the MIT professor. Yeah, they've been here for 14 years. You get one of those guys loaded, he'll tell you everything. They came, they actually came in from Canada with falsified <laughs> passports. You guys let them in. Oh, yeah. It's your fault. James was only. Yeah, and over here, uh, well, here we are. And, uh, where, where are we? Hey, Market Square. Yeah, this is one of the oldest commercial districts in Boston. Now, in 1710, this was road walks, but today, well, well, in 1795, you had a tavern there. That's one of the oldest taverns in the United States. And the Bell and Hand. Green Dragon, the Union Oyster House, all of these places are very old. And that is six glass towers, that's nothing to make fun of. That's the Holocaust Memorial, and that's there to remind us of the six million people of the Jewish tradition who lost their life during World War II. And, and I like to point out the fact that well, 11 million people lost their hands, lost their life with the hands of the Nazis. Uh, the Romas, the Gypsies, uh, homosexuals, mental retarded. Anybody that they didn't like, they, they put to death. But those six towers represent the six death camps. And what's amazing to me is that they etched one million numbers into each one of those towers to represent the tattoos. Yeah, that's where they got the numbers. It's pretty, and you, if you go through it, it will move you. Now let's get off of that subject, that's kind of depressing. Now over here to the left, that's Battle Hall. And Battle Hall was given to us by a wealthy French merchant by the name of Pierre Pinot. And he thought it would be a good idea if we had a place for public ceremonies and meetings. Be careful what you wish for, because after paying for the construction of it and giving it to the city of Boston, the first public ceremony ever held here was his funeral. Yeah, Pierre Pinot. He's actually buried in the old granary uh, 
burial ground. And it's not far from stop six if you're interested in that sort of thing. And it will say Pierre Fanon. That's a French name. Of course, here people say Fanon or Fanon or Fanon Hall, and you know, they go through all kinds of stuff. But uh, the French production is more like Fanon. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. And that's a Sam Adams, and he's got his arms folded. He's a big time governor of Massachusetts. He had two degrees from Harvard. He signed the Declaration of Independence. And he instigated the American Revolution. Yeah, he was pretty much an instigator. But the guy could not handle money. Will was lost in history. Right after he, his father died, he inherited a brewery from his father. His father was rich. He was a wealthy merchant. And left old Sammy. A brewery, and he ran it right into the ground. And if you can't make money selling alcohol, there's something terrible wrong with it. So, this is the Massachusetts State House right here.